It is estimated more than one million skin cancers diagnosed each year in the U.S. are sun-related. So with Memorial Day and the unofficial start of summer less than a week away now, we're putting sunscreen to our Tuesday test. And what we found can not only protect you, but save you some money. Whether you're relaxing on the beach this summer or enjoying the waves, it's critically important to protect yourself from the harmful effects of the sun. Our partners at Consumer Reports have tested 18 sunscreens, mostly sprays and lotions, from names like Banana Boat and Copper Tone to Neutrogena and Aveeno. We test to see how well the sunscreens protect against two types of radiation, UVB, which causes sunburn, and UVA, which penetrates deeper and is linked to tanning and aging of the skin. Both types contribute to skin cancer, so it's important to use a sunscreen that protects against both. To test, Consumer Reports applies sunscreen to panelists' backs and then exposes them to either UVA or UVB rays. Testers also check water resistance. Panelists sit in water for up to 80 minutes, depending on the product's claims. We also performed a new critical wavelength test mandated by the FDA that determines if a sunscreen contains a sufficient level of UVA protection. Two products that claim both UVA and UVB protection failed this test, Banana Boat Kids and Elba Botanica. But for fun in the sun without the worry, Consumer Reports did find two very good, inexpensive sunscreens. No ad SPF. 45 and Walgreens continuous spray sunscreen sport SPF 50 both rated very good against UVA and excellent against UVB radiation making them great options for your next day at the beach. By the way, the FDA is currently investigating spray on sunscreens and whether inhaling the spray poses any danger. Until more is known, Consumer Report says it's best to avoid using sprays on kids, although I know they like them. They also say never spray it directly onto your face. Instead, spray it into your hands and then rub it onto your face instead.